Hello boys and girls, have you guys heard of lossless scaling and don't know what it is and how to use it? You have come to the right place. In gaming, lossless scaling refers to the techniques used to upscale or downscale game graphics without losing any image quality using machine learning based techniques for scaling and frame generation, which may be not available in some games. To put it in simple words, if you are playing a game in low resolution and windowed mode for better performance, lossless scaling can help you to upscale it to full screen without losing any image quality. It's a great way to enhance your gaming experience while still making the most of your setup. Before we start the video, as usual make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel because it's totally free and also motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Now let's come back to the topic. So how do I use it? In order to use it, you need a software on Steam called Lossless Scaling, which costs 345 INA or 6.99 USD. It must be close to same price in your regional currency. Moving on to its in-app features and options. When you open it, you will find the option for frame generation set to LSM GIF 3.0, which is the latest version available. It offers two modes also fixed and auto. In simple terms, the fixed mode relies on the base game's frame rate and uses integer multiple to display the output frame rates without sacrificing the quality and the performance. However, it may be less consistent if the base game frame rate fluctuates. On the other hand, the auto mode aims to provide a consistent frame rate that is independent of the base game's frame rate, but this may result in lower quality and the performance compared to the fixed mode. For this video, we will be using fixed mode during the testing part of this video. After choosing the mode, you will see the integer multipliers which you can set to 2x, 3x and so on. I would recommend to avoid making changes to the capture section below. It's basically the bunch of APIs used to capture and upscale the game. If one doesn't work for you, then switch to other. On the right, you will see several scaling modes such as LS1, MDFSR, NIS and more. For modern games, I would recommend using LS1 or AMD FSR. Personally, I find that AMD FSR works better for me. For pixel art games, you can opt for integer scaling or XPR. In the case of cartoon or anime game, anime 4K is a good choice. Below that, there is a slider to adjust the sharpness. If you find the image too sharp, decrease the sharpness. If it's not sharp enough, increase it. Next, you can choose between the optimized version of the upscaling method or the original one by toggling the performance option on or off. The optimized version is designed for less powerful GPUs but may produce slightly inferior results. Below that, you will see an option for resize before scaling. When on, this option resizes the image to your native resolution. If you scale it larger than that resolution, but I prefer to keep it off. Instead, I use the factor set to 1.5. Before diving into the scaling process, let me outline the configuration of my setup. I am using a GTX 1650 DDR6 graphics card paired with an Intel i5 12400F processor and 16GB of RAM. All the drivers are up to the date and none of the components have been overclocked. Also, let's examine the raw performance of the game before applying any scaling and frame generation. At 1080p, with the maximum settings, the games run at frame rates ranging from 30 to 60 fps, typically staying closer to 30 fps for the most of the time. At 720p in full screen mode, we see frame rates between 40 to 60 fps, but the image quality becomes too soft and blurry. In 720p windowed mode, the performance improves, yielding frames between 50 and 60 fps. Now let's come to the scaling part. For the video, I plan to use both upscaling and frame generation together since the video is already quite lengthy. Also, let's lock our frame rates to 30 fps for consistent base game fps in order to avoid any fluctuation. For this, I am using Riva Tuner. Additionally, the game should be played in windowed mode to apply scaling. Initially, for frame generation, I am using LSFG 3.0. The mode is set to fixed for which we already locked our fps and the multiplier is set to 2. For scaling, I am using LS1 with sharpness set to full, performance is set to off and the factor is set to 1.5 which is equivalent to 1080p resolution. After scaling, you will see the base game frame rate logged at 30fps on the right and at the top left, you can see the generated frames maintaining a constant 60fps performance displayed in white. Also, I recorded my screen using a mobile device because you cannot capture your screen while upscaling as it uses the same API for both upscaling and recording. 
Next, if I set the multiplier to 3 and have scale using LS1, we can see a constant 90 FPS performance on the top left. However, this comes with some input latency and I also notice a bit of ghosting around the character, though it's not very noticeable. I also tried frame generation and F scaling with the type set to FSR. The performance results were simpler, but I personally prefer the video quality during the FSR type. In conclusion, should you buy this app or not? The answer is absolute yes, especially if you don't have a powerful GPU but still want to play games, particularly the new ones. Keep in mind that the performance may vary across different games and you may not achieve the same results with every title. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.